you ready for art? Let's go! Hi everyone! Happy to see you. Today, we're gonna do laundry art. You may ask yourself, what is laundry art? Well, laundry art is when you use things around the house like t-shirts, socks, towels, anything like that. And you fold it in such a way that when you put it together, you can make different shapes. And together you can make that into a picture. To do this project, you're going to need to find an image or find a picture. I have this book here by Andy Warhol, a famous artist. For example, here's a picture that he did of some flowers. This is from 1964. You could, if you had some red shirts or orange shirts or yellow shirts, if you had something kind of this color in the background, you could fold your clothes together and make a picture like this. That would be one example. You need to find your image first. Here's another example. This is from the Louvre Museum in France. This is by an artist named Jean Ingres. It's a picture of a lady. Again, you could add some eyes, some background. If you have something a similar color, you could fold things up. If you have some socks this color or white towels, you could use that there. You can put it together to create this picture using laundry. It doesn't have to be a picture like that. Here's another picture. Here's a picture of Spider-Man as an artist. You could do something like that. Whatever pictures kind of interest you, you could look at the internet, or if you have books in your house, you could use that as well. I'm gonna show you some examples. Here's a girl with pearl earrings by Jean Vermeer. Looks pretty good. This is the great wave on Kanazawa. I can see some shoes there too. This is The Scream by Munch. Nice face. This is Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. Good colors. This is The Hungry Caterpillar, which is a book you might have read. Here's Mickey Mouse, if you like Disney. Here's a face. Kind of looks like Donald Trump. And here's the last one. It's a soccer player. That's pretty cool. If you like those examples, I hope it gave you some good ideas. The important thing is that when you finish this art project, you take some photographs of it. You're going to submit the photos to Google Classroom. Probably the most important thing is that when you finish your artwork, you need to clean up. Don't leave everything out as a mess. Make sure that you do clean up after yourself. That's part of the project as well. You need to clean everything up when you're finished. So I hope you have fun with this. Use whatever you can find in your house, socks, shirts, towels, and sheets, tablecloths, anything else that you have. I hope you have a good time with this. I look forward to seeing what you do. Talk to you next time. Bye.